In 2020, technology use in the public sector and access for the public expanded. We are in a digital age, and in this time, access to technology and devices is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. This here is the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology's 2020 Year in Review. The energy sector got a boost with the completion of the Electric Mobility Strategic Framework. To facilitate the introduction and growth of electric vehicles market. Shortly after assuming portfolio responsibility from Favel Williams, Minister Darrell Vaz advised that the country was well on the way in procuring 268 megawatts of electricity generation from renewable sources by 2025. Over the life of the plan, the US $2.8 billion of investment is anticipated to further modernize our energy sector. Technology has the power to drive economic growth and contribute to overall development. And so the implementation of the National Public Key Infrastructure NPKI project commenced under the National Identification System NIDS program. The PKI is the most trusted security framework used by governments worldwide and represents a significant development in the transformation to a digital society. The Universal Service Fund commissioned six new public Wi-Fi hotspots across the island. The provision of these public Wi-Fi hotspots is part of our mission to ensure that all Jamaicans have access to the internet and forms a significant part of transforming Jamaica into a truly digital society. Three community access points were commissioned to in St. Mary at the Spicy Grove Youth Center and Three Hills Resource Center and the other in Kingston at the Caribbean Christian Center for the Deaf. This is the new Jamaica and we're working to create a technology-enabled society that can meet the needs of the digital age. The USF also handed over $700 million to eLearn in Jamaica to fund the distribution of 25,000 tablets to teachers. Additionally, postgraduate students were able to access $45 million for ICT research grants. This program will provide the stimulus needed to take a keen look at issues within the ICT sphere and to develop practical solutions. Practical solutions as they relate to the Jamaican space and certainly beyond our shores. Meanwhile, the top boys and girls from the primary exit profile PEP exams in each parish were awarded with scholarships. The healthcare sector is a sector that manages sensitive personal data. The USF provided $17.5 million in ICT support to the Ministry of Health and Wellness to boost the bandwidth capacity of several health facilities. ICT devices valued at $2.8 million were donated to the Western Regional Health Authority. Based on the COVID experience, students are able to go to school, so we want to go inside the communities to see how best we can provide uh, internet where the students can have access to, to their, um, their online schooling. Another $1.8 million worth of devices were given to the Jamaica Council for Persons with Disabilities, JCPD, to improve their communication with clients. The education sector also received 500,000 bottles of hand sanitizers for distribution to schools. And I think that and hope that it will be used to the benefit of the kids to prevent them from the COVID pandemic. This was the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology's Year in Review.